Hi guys, how's it going? Today we're talking about how there is a 10,000 US dollars bounty on jailbreaking the Facebook Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. Let's go! If it's your first time to the channel, welcome to you, very nice to meet you and welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Whew, always nice to see you. Thanks for your continued support. Of course, this is VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And today we're talking about how there's a bounty worth 10,000 US dollars. That's right, 10,000 US dollars to jailbreak the Facebook VR headsets, which could be the Quest and also the Quest number two. So when you do the jailbreak, you basically will no longer have the insurance from the manufacturer themselves. So you could well be downloading software that has a lot of malware in it, which can basically fish for information, whether it's where you live or potentially your credit card details, or also install Trojans or viruses onto your device itself. By making changes inside of the device, you're basically gonna be also at risk by slowing down the performance of the hardware as well as potentially draining the battery as well. You may also be victim to data breaches where basically you download an app that's unsupervised by the platform and you input, as I mentioned before, inside of these third-party apps, for example, your credit card details or your name or your email address and all these kind of things, which could then be hacked by third parties, affecting potentially hundreds of thousands of different people based on things that have actually occurred in the past. And of course, by jailbreaking a device, you will void the warranty altogether. Now, the story about jailbreaking the Facebook VR headset first initially came from a developer who used to work for Altspace and is now working for Mozilla called Robert Long, who's been basically trying to rally all the developers in the hope that by jailbreaking it, you would no longer be dependent by Facebook, which of course have been breaking antitrust anti-competitive and anti-data privacy laws. So he's hoping that by having this moving forward, you will no longer be traced by Facebook, which means you can be free of Facebook and they will no longer be able to basically use your data to potentially manipulate society, governments, or basically kill off companies who are trying to compete with them in the first place. But what's even more interesting is that in the last 24 hours or so, the inventor of the original Oculus before it became Facebook, which he had sold to them for a staggering two or three billion US dollars, actually is going to match Robert Long's initial 5,000 US dollars with another 5,000 US dollars, which basically means that any developer who comes on board this and can solve the mystery in jailbreaking the Facebook VR Quest headset will be awarded the 10,000 US dollar bounty. Robert, if you happen to be watching this video, we just want you to know that we're all behind you and we'd love to have you on the show to do a live Q&A so that potentially we could find even more backers to support your cause. If like us, you want the VR community to grow and you enjoy the content on this channel, then please go to the link description below the like button in order to support us. It will redirect you to our official VR Essentials merch store where all the designs, including the octopus playing Beat Saber and the shark in VR are limited editions and will only be available for the next two, three months or so. There really is something for everyone, so avoid disappointment, act right away. 